Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore some of the wildest and exorbitantly priced Airbnbs that you can stay in on this planet. Okay, that sounds cool, man. But first, let's play Ready Pet Go, where we look at a pet that you submitted, and we try to guess its name. This one comes from Anna Allen. Anna Allen's got a gerbil. Hamster, is it a gerbil? It's either a gerbil or a guinea pig. It's guinea a pig. guinea pig. Okay. I'm, you know what? Porky! I, I never thought about the fact that like guinea pigs are ju were just like a wild creature in like Peru. When you went like to the highlands of Peru, did you see any guinea pigs just like well, pigging around, they, Stevie? They do something a little bit different with guinea pigs. They, yeah, it's a delicacy. Did you eat them? Yeah. But you didn't did have not. one as a pet? I did not. All right, let's call this I one think lunch. Sp Spencer. Spencer. I think we'll call this one loggy. What is he about to eat? It looks like it might Pretty be. Granola bar. Hmm. And what they is make it? these noises. It looks like it might be a little nug. <laughs> what's the uh, What's the name? Uh. Uh. I said. Um, oh no! I'm a I'm asking to reveal what the name. Please is. reveal. Oh, llama. Okay. Peruvian. See, I was picking up on the Peruvian. Yeah, you were right all over it. Mm-hmm. Now would you eat it? It's somebody's pet, man. I would. I would. I never said I would eat it. Oh, okay. If you were there and it was served to you and it was not a pet, would you eat it? Hmm. Moral dilemma. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, the, the cute little bacon you could get off that thing. Oh, see, there you go. You. It is a pig. It's still a um, pig. Um. Okay. You. So. Recently, have you searched on Airbnb? Oh like, yeah. There's a okay. So you know, like the I'm an OMG Airbnb champ. You know the OMG section. No, that's, what's that? Is that like the super special ones? Yeah, that's like a Treehouse. this is yeah exact uh, exactly this is shuttle. a UFO situation whatever uh -huh. like that that's kind of the territory we're in so it's not like these are like some of these aren't like super pricey necessarily but they're all like very specific notable. They're, yeah. They're all like, OMG. They're all like, OMG. Like, take this first one. An elephant house in New Jersey. Wow. So I have some fun facts for you. It's uh, located the in the heart of Jersey Shore. <laughs> have you ever been to the Jersey, Jersey Shore? No, I don't think so. Well, is that where Atlantic City is? Is it technically? No, I don't know if technically it is. Atlantic but City. We've been to Atlantic City. 2008. So I can... There, there's a house behind it. There's also like... Oh, it says just hotel. five miles from world famous Atlantic City in okay. my fun facts. So we've been there. We were so close to it. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw it. I just thought it was a roaming elephant. It's a one bedroom, one bath. Close to the do you, beach. Do you pee out of the, the, the back of it? Like that would be cool yep. if, like, if the toilet dumped out of the butthole of the elephant. Yep. And just then right we, onto the beach. And then like your gray water Came comes out, out of the, the trunk. The trunk. This is interesting. It says that this the the listing speaks from the point of view of the elephant, whose name is Lucy. Mm -hmm. I hosted my first stay in 1902, God. and over the years, I've been a tavern and hosted a United States president. Today, I'm one of the Jersey Shore's most recognizable faces. That's cool. I mean, that is pretty cool. I, the inside decor. It's one bedroom. It's one just open area. I mean, you're in an elephant. So, you know. It looks like the bed is coming from like the the, the back haunches and you're, you'd be facing the front, that front. Is that window the anus or is that window? But, well, is that it's a- It's not the front of the- Is that a deck? Like what is that picture where you can see the beach? Where is that from? Is that like the it, rear of the elephant? No, that's not the front. That, that's the carrier thing on top, on the saddle. Oh, yeah, okay, I see that. Oh, that's pretty cool, it has a little crow's nest. All right, that's changing my answer. Um, it's only got three reviews on Airbnb. Whoa, that's interesting. Three reviews. I'm glad you just pointed that out. Uh, because so, makes, how much it, per night? It does make a difference. It does make a difference. I'm going down to, from where I was. Yeah. I think I think this is a treat for one night, but I don't think you want to do three. You right. might could get away. What, with what'd two. you go with? 
Two hundred and twenty-five dollars a night. Oh wow! Okay, I said seven twenty-five. Nope, nope. There's no way it costs that much. Okay, one of you really does look around on Airbnb. Uh, the price is two thirty-nine a night. Wow, Link. yeah, baby. Yeah, that's that was that's pretty close, wasn't it? Wow. Hey, that's not bad. I mean, a numbers guessing game that you're good at. Well, g- give me a few other shots. Okay. What's the next? Let's try the Potato Hotel in Idaho. Whoa. That is realistic looking. It's just a potato sitting out in the field. Does it move? Because the big picture and then the smaller picture look like two different places. It's a stationary potato. I believe we're looking at two different sides of the potato, possibly. Where's, I don't know. Okay, so there's a bed on one side, and then on the other side, there's just a, you know. Yeah, it's a singular bedroom door. and bathroom. No windows. Doesn't appear. No, because potatoes windows. don't have windows. That's strange for another. It's um it's on four hundred acres of good old Idaho farmland, just south of downtown Boise. Wonder how it got there. Did it fall from the sky or did it grow up out of the ground? You usually yeah. have to dig them up. There's also a customized <laughs> silo turned into a spa retreat, perfect for soaking while looking up at the stars. I can never use the original meaning of soaking ever again. It's really, it's ruined. Big Idaho Potato Hotel. Lots of reviews here. 539. <clears throat> Superhost. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, oh, you also get I've made um, some bad at Airbnb decisions. The, the cutest Jersey cow in the world, which I guess is a type of cow? Is that candy? I don't Wait, I'm confused. Who will be your fuzzy pet for the stay? Oh, so you're on a farm and there's like a cow that comes up with a potato and like takes. Yeah, that's part of the experience. Okay, you you locked in? Yeah. I said $180 a night. I said $189 a night. Ooh, okay. $207 a night. (laughs) I I got your number today, man. Dang, okay. Hey, it's only the second round. $209? Um, Wow. What? You said $209 to stay in a potato in Idaho. 207. I mean, you got to take into account That's weird. too that you're I, in a 400 acre like Idaho farmland environment. So again, you would be going there for the for the potato stay, I guess. You be I mean, I, I might I might do one night, but like I don't know. You one, do it you do it for the Insta. Yeah. That's why you yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. you can be like I'm going to get I'm going to get some likes finally. Tough Cliff the Cave House in France. Tough, Tough Cliff, Cliff Cave, House. Cave House. Well, I'm looking at that first picture and I can't even see it. Is this like an ancient cave? Um, yes. It's slightly unclear, but it says exposed cave walls, including this shower. Mm. I've always wanted to do this. Stay in a cave house. It's really? two bedrooms, two bath, one, I mean, two bedrooms, one bath. Mm-hmm. Uh, fireplace, no fire alarm. <clears throat> you don't need one in a cave. Piano. You do need a piano in a cave. Well, the acoustics in a cave, you know, you got you to take advantage of it. You got to take advantage of it. Oh, but it says, this accommodation only accepts lovers of all kinds, life, nature, the human being. So... So no haters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Haters, back off. Uh, I will be remiss if I didn't point out that this is uh, in the Cotignan, Provence, Alpes, Côte d'Azur. The blue coast of France. Yeah, it's on the coast of France. That's going to affect the the pricing. Oh man, this uh, is not easy. Is this this is going to be in francs? Yeah, we had, but to do the translation to dollars, I'm going to do it in dollars. Um, okay, I went with five hundred and twenty-one dollars. Went a little that. lower, four eleven. Huh. Well, this, I mean, there's an international thing at play here. I'm not going to fault you guys. It's $112 a night. Oh, that, to stay in so the we, cave? we went the wrong direction. I thought because it was like, yeah, it was like, it seems to be an ancient cave. Like you could, 
you could, you know, top billing for this thing. Wow. wow. So okay. I, I still, still got, got the, it right. Yeah, I did. Uh, but we, for a we were here. thinking the same thing. I want to remind you, we got this new mug. We got two of them. Like I've got, you've got the link. You know what time it is, with the GMM logo on the back, and then you got the Rhett. Good mythical morning. With the green GMM logo, so you can uh, buy these separately. You can buy them together. I believe is you get there... a discount if you get them together, right? Yep. And um, our previous mug, the Ten Years of Mythicality mug, and we're not making those anymore. Uh, there's a few left, so when they're gone, they're gone. You go to mythical.com to shop shop for your uh, mugs. We can go stay in that cave house for 112 bucks a night. How do they? I mean, it must not be. How are they uh, making money? It must not be that posh, you know. A fairy tale boot in New Zealand. Oh, oh in New Zealand. New Zealand. A fairy tale boot. This is a one There's not a one really bath. good shot of the whole boot. Like, I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, you gotta give and us the gotta, boot y- part. We gotta, gotta zoom out here. We gotta see the whole boot. Maybe it doesn't really look as much like a boot as they want it to, so they don't ever show it. That's one of the things that I've learned with the Airbnb is how to look at the fringes of one picture and then another picture to kind of stitch to kind of stitch it together in my mind your mind say stitch like, oh this this bedroom and then this seating area are actually right on top of each other it's just that they they pointed the camera in totally different directions you know what i'm saying mm. so it's like you that's why you got to read reviews and you got to know what to look for man well this has got a 71 reviews and pretty high rating here <coughs> new zealand i don't know how the Nelson, new, zealand, new zealand like zealand. I don't know how the New Zealand picturesque cost of living or whatever. Shower built here. for two. Shower boat. Shower built oh. for two. If you want, if you want to bathe, you got to. The gotta, shower you is so get big; it a requires boat. a boat. Uh, two guests. I mean, I like one that. bedroom, one bath. I like those chimneys. They got the indoor fireplace and the outdoor fireplace, and look at those couples just kiwiing it up. All righty. I want to go to New Zealand, but I don't want to stay there. Looks a little too cramped. I like high design modern places. Like that's my jam when it comes to like Airbnb. I I like the places that don't have that much stuff in them because that means there's less stuff that has germs and stuff on it. Does that make sense? Well, it seems like you should just stay at yeah. a hotel then. Because you know good yeah, well I like that a like, hotel. if you're staying in a full house, that they're not going through in just a couple hours and like really cleaning my, everything. My yeah. wife, she does not like, I am kind of like, sometimes Airbnb, sometimes hotel, but she is like hotel all the way. She's like, listen, they clean the stuff for you. They bring you sheets and stuff. Like things that are like systematized and they work. Yeah, it's a different experience. You know. But if you're going somewhere for like a long time and you have to like take multiple family members, etc. Yeah. You know, that makes right. sense. $201. $265. $182. Dang, Link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking that maybe the New Zealand, like, you know, it's it, like cost of living's a little bit increased. But no, okay, you can stay in a boot for 100 and how much? $82. $82. I'm all about it. Okay, here's your um, New Zealand experience, but in Washington. Hobbit holes. House. This is in Washington. These underground higi. What? That's the. That's the. Um. The, I don't know how to say it. The Swedish word for. Um, Huga. 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 Uh, just. Um, it means comfy. A um, quality of coziness cozy. and comfort. These are popping up. I think there's one down there in San Diego. Um, this is one up in Washington. I want to go to the real ones in New Zealand. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you should do this if you're not in New Zealand. And I think that that has a drastic impact. On Look the at price. that view from the front door out. Pretty nice. That's nice. And six six in- acres of private land to hike around and explore. Six acres, Washington State. I don't know where Arondo is. Mm. I'm just trying to get one. Uh, okay, I'm going to say six acres, 
pretty high ratings, 4.83, but it is just that one run. Okay. 5.50 a night. 178. <laughs> we've, we, we've 400 a What is it? 400. Well, yeah, I, I won again, dude. Dang. Yeah. Now, why, how did you know that? <laughs> because Washington State is quite a destination. These, that's a beautiful piece of land, and that's a very unique experience that is curated pretty well. I mean, look at the detail in that fireplace. Look at the you detail should have on a the YouTube, ten, YouTube channel that where you just talk about Airbnb listings. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. like, this is what you should really think about this one. You don't like you're not the guy who goes and stays in them and gives you a report. You're the guy who's like, listen, I've looked at this listing and I know exactly what you should think about it and what it's actually worth. I mean, that could be a good service for people. Like, look at the stitching. You see this area right here? It's really yeah. just this area, and you would like have digital software that brings it together and be like, "That's this is exactly what this would look like." Oh, you call it the Airbnb tru Cop. truther, truther, Airb Airbnb truth, Airbnb for Airbnb. sure, Airbnb with Air link, Airbnb. I, I like it. Anybody okay. interested? Okay, it, it, Airbnb. Subscribers are going to line up. Um, how about this cube? thing Going for the in Queen Norway. Oh, in Norway. Okay, this is interesting because I've been thinking about Norway a lot lately. Cozy, that word is back, bird box. Been thinking about going to Norway. Now, I'm intrigued by this. They call it a tree house down there. Yeah, it's confusing because the definition of bird box is a house for birds, and it also doesn't have any relation to the movie bird box, so I don't know why they... Why it's called a bird box per se? I mean, it but it kind of looks like a bird. Box. SEO. It's got that yeah. big hole in it that the bird would fly in if the bird was like a giant bird, you know. But see, here's the thing. No, see, in, no interior pictures. See that no interior. Where well, you have to click on show all photos, but this is a beautiful spot. But look at that bottom center photo. What do you notice about it? Skis in the ground. Well, you can you maybe you can ski in, ski out, but just to the right, there's another structure right up against it. Is that somebody else staying in another bird box or is that your bathroom? You got to find out. This is you know? exactly, exactly how I think about yeah. all of my Airbnb. You, you, you want to make sure that somebody's not not living in a bird box that- Oh, you don't want to wake up in your bird box. Emily said that this is an outhouse yeah, situation. It's a, it's a bathroom. It's an outhouse, you're sure. Yeah, and the other thing that's interesting is that you isolated. have to park your car at a ski resort and then hike 15 minutes uphill. And there's no full place. bath. It's a half bath, so you cannot shower. Oh. You got a 15-minute uphill hike? Well, that's, that's a it. nice box. The Norwegians are ruddy, man. They are ruddy. Oh, there's an, yeah. yeah. There's no running water. And um, but none of the reviews mention it as being an issue. Because you know what you're getting yourself into. You're in the middle of nowhere up there in a box. That's a. I mean, hmm. I'm going with my initial instinct here. Nope, I'm changing my answer. I really, I'm really trying hard because you built me up. Okay. What'd you say? I said three hundred and thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents. Wow. I mean, we were all over it. I changed my answer from two thirty-three oh, to oh, three twenty-one. I get one. Three twenty-one. So it's, it's got uh, three sixty. Yes. Oh man. Yes, I got one. But hey, we were both so close to this one. Three hundred sixty dollars a night. That's pretty cool. Would you do it? Uh, I can't. I don't know. I, listen, I got. I got to read the reviews about those that hike. You know, what I've I'm been saying? looking at Norway stuff. Norway. Are seems they going like to bring really my cool bags spot, up for man. me? Scandinavia in general it just seems like the place I could go and just blend like, in. People would be like, "Oh, he's he's a local." I want to skin up a mountain, but I don't want to be carrying uh, my entire family's luggage on my back. Look at that local man skiing with his family to the bird box. Oh, just another local Norwegian man enjoying our local bird box. Now you, you'd be a total American. Total American. 
Look at that American man with his family. <laughs> Anybody skiing know up. where the Raisin Canes is? <laughs> skiing up to the bird box. A new season of GMM means a sweet new mug. Get the colorful conversations mugs now at mythical.com.